So in this video, you'll learn how to enable or disable the circle to search feature on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So the circle to search feature is an AI tool that allows you to just circle around something that's currently being displayed on your screen, and then it will bring you search results based off what you've circled. So in order for you to enable it, you have to start by opening the settings app. Once you're in settings, you then want to scroll and select display. And then under display, look for navigation bar and tap on it. From here, you should see circle to search with a toggle next to it. So to enable it, just tap on the toggle and it will be turned on. So from now, it's time to activate the circle to search feature. If you're enabling while you're in swipe mode or you're using the swipe gestures, you'll need to hold on this swipe bar at the bottom of your screen like this. And this will bring you the circle to search feature. If you're using buttons, then you'll need to long press on the home screen button like this. And again, it will still bring you the circle to search feature. So from here, you can then start using it to circle around items on your screen. So for example, if I want to circle around this widget here, I'll just bring up the circle to search feature, circle around it like that, and then it will bring, you, bring me search results based off what I've just circled. Again, you can choose to zoom in so that you can get an even more precise viewing of what it is you want exactly, like that. And then you can still get research results just down here. If you want to close the circle to search feature because you're done using it, just tap on this X icon at the top and it will close the feature. If you want to disable it, then you can just tap on the toggle and it will be turned off. And so now whenever you try to activate the circle to search feature, you'll notice it's no longer coming up on your screen, which means that you've turned it off successfully. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.